is no doubt one of the most influential voices of African American talk radio in Cincinnati. And today a street was named in his honor. We are speaking of Lincoln Ware, who got a start in radio a half century ago. Mike Shell was at today's dedication in Avondale. He joins us live with the latest on this. Mike. Yeah, Megan, we are at Vine and Glenwood. It was here that Lincoln Ware got his start as a disc jockey on WCIM before going on to host his own self-titled radio show on The Wiz and The Buzz. For more than 50 years, Lincoln Ware has had his fingers on the pulse of what is happening in the African-American community. It only took a few seconds for the sign reading Lincoln Ware Way to be unveiled, but this Cincinnati radio icon has been in town for more than a minute. In the past 50 years, Lincoln Ware has done just that in the voice of a generation brought the community together to lift up issues that not everyone would know about unless you're in the community. Lincoln Ware on the buzz and WCIN says he didn't expect this honor, but it makes his career come full circle. Oh, it means so much to me. I mean, I never thought in a thousand years that 50 years later, I'd be back here on the same street where I started with the street sign, you know? I never imagined that. Glenwood Avenue is the home of the original WCIN studios, but it has more of a personal meaning for Lincoln Ware. It's where he met his wife, Sharon, who came to the radio station one day when he was on the air. She rung the back doorbell, and I went back there to see who it was, and she said, I just wanted to meet you. And I said, oh, she's kind of cute. I said, what's your number? Give me a number. She gave me a number, and the rest is history. <laughs> Uh, don't look for Willie can wear to ha turn off his microphone anytime soon. He says as long as he has listeners and followers, he's going to keep that on air light on in the studio. Reporting live from Avondale, Mike Shell, Fox 19 now. Mike, great story. Thank you very much.